ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन फॉर एनी इंटीजर के लेट ए के इक्वल्स कॉस के पाई बाई सेवन प्लस आयोटा साइन के पाई बाई सेवन वेयर आई इज रूट माइनस वन द वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन दिस वन वी हैव टू ऑप्टेन इट इज वेरी क्लियर फ्रॉम द गिवन वन ए के इज द फोर्टीन रूट ऑफ यूनिटी सो वेन वी ट्रेस दीज फोर्टीन रूट ऑन अ पॉलीगन देन वी कैन सी दैट ए वन ए टू ए थ्री आर द वर्टिस so the length of that regular polygon would be mod a2 minus a1 mod a3 minus a2 that's all so here when we substitute the value for k it is mod a2 minus a1 mod a3 minus a2 and so on till mod a13 minus a12 divided by when we put 1 it is mod a3 minus a2 plus when we put 2 this is mod a7 minus a6 plus on substituting 3 mod a11 minus a10 so it is simply 12 by 3 or 4 as there are 12 terms in numerator and 3 terms in denominator so the answer for this question is 4 right let's go for the next one Okay, let's go for the next one. That is forty-eight. Suppose that all the terms of an AP are natural numbers. If the ratio of the sum of first seven terms to the sum of first eleven terms is six is to eleven, and the seventh term lies between one thirty and one forty, then the common difference of this AP is pretty simple question from sequence series. It is given that. the ratio of sum of first seven terms that is 7 by 2 2a plus 6d if i consider a as the first term and d as the common difference divided by first 11 terms that is 11 by 2 2a plus 10d is equal to 6 by 11 right simplifying we get the relation as A equals nine d, right? A equals nine d. Also given to me, seven term lies between one thirty and one forty. Means a plus six d is between one thirty to one forty. Substitute the value of a as nine d. We have fifteen d is between one hundred thirty to one hundred forty. d is a natural number so we simply get the value of d as 9 correct so let's go for the next one that is question number 49 okay let's go for 49th question let fx equals 7 times tan 8x plus 7 times tan 6x minus 3 times tan 4x minus 3 times tan square x for all x from open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 then the correct expression or expressions from the given options we have to obtain so starting by simplification of this fx fx is 7 times when we take tan 6x common it is left with simply 1 plus tan square x that is sec square x minus when we take 3 tan square x common again the similar situation comes sec square x right so we can rewrite it as tan square x sec square x common multiplied with 7 tan 4x minus 3 now integral 0 to pi by 4 fx and integral 0 to pi by 4 x fx we have to check out integral 0 to pi by 4 fx dx when i say tan x s t i obtain integral 0 to 1 t square multiplied with 74 minus 3 dt on integrating we obtain the term simply as this becomes 76 means t7 Minus 
3 t square that is t cube under the limit 0 to 1. So, when we substitute here 1, it is 1 minus 1 0, when we substitute 0 again 0. So, simply the result is 0 means b is correct. Let us check out x f x integral integral 0 to pi by 4 x f x dx. Again with the same substitution we get 0 to 1 this time tan inverse t will occur because we have the term x multiplied with f x and same term t square into 74 minus 3 into dt. So, we can write it here this is 7 t 6 minus 3 t square dt correct. Now, integrating by parts we have tan inverse t multiplied with t 7 minus t cube under the limit 0 to 1 minus integral 0 to 1 1 upon 1 plus t square t 7 minus t cube t t. When we put here 1 in this one it gives me pi by 4 multiplied with 0, 0 gives me 0. So, first term is simply 0 minus 0 to 1 we take t cube common then we get t 4 minus 1 which can be factorized to cancel the denominator part. So, we are left with the term t square minus 1 we can integrate it to obtain minus of t 6 by 6 minus t 4 by 4 under the limit 0 to 1. On substituting the limit we simply get the result as 1 by 12 right. So, from the given options A is also correct. So, in this manner we can simplify this question. Let us move to the next one that is question number 50. Okay, go for the next. Let f and g minus 1 to 2 to r be continuous functions which are twice differentiable on the interval minus 1 to 2. Let the values of f and g at the points minus 1, 0 and 2 be given in this table. In each of the interval minus 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 2, the function f minus 3 g double dash never vanishes. Then the correct statement or statements is or are four options are given based on the derivative of f x and thrice of g x. Let us start it by considering a function h x f x minus 3 g x. Right. Now, when I check the value of h of minus 1, h of 0, h of 2, I observe h of minus 1 equals f of minus 1 is 3 and g of minus 1 is 0. So, it is simply 3. So, h of minus 1 comes 3. Let us check out h of 0. h of 0 comes 6 minus 3 that is 3. Similarly, we check h of 2. So, we observe that h minus 1, h 0, h 2 all are equal. So, we can apply Rolle's theorem in the intervals minus 1 to 0 and 0 to 2. So, we observe that h dash x is 0 for at least 1 x in minus 1 to 0 and 0 to 2 each right. Next, when I observe that h dash x is 0 for some x in the interval minus 1 to 0 and 0 to 2. So, I can say that h double dash x is 0 for at least 1 x in minus 1 to 2 h double dash x means f double dash x minus 3 g double dash x. It is given in the question that second derivative never vanishes in these two intervals separately. So, clear clue comes to me as h double dash 0 must be 0 because minus 1 to 0 it is not 0, 0 to 2 it is not 0, but it is 0 at least once in minus 2 to minus 1 to 2. So, it is 0 at 0 only. So, it is 0 exactly once. 
when it is 0 exactly once simply we can conclude that f dash x minus 3 g dash x which is s dash x where we concluded at least 1 x. Now, we have exactly 1 x in minus 1 to 0 and similarly exactly 1 x in 0 to 2. So, b and c are the correct options right move to the next one.